Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Beauty mode is gone, as you can see the wrinkles are back. I've noticed that the video is much better quality, I find. When you take beauty mode off of the front facing camera and the rear facing camera, it gives you what you see, it doesn't change anything. So I'm back to my usual wrinkly self. But, I'm going to be using some great products, I'm going back to probably my favourite brush in the den. And a soap which outperforms most, outperforms nearly everything. And that is Noble Otter. Now this is Barbar. Bar. It's one of only two Noble Otto soaps that I have left. I have this and Orbit. The rest of them are up for sale. I'm probably going to do a raffle on the, Aust the Australian Wet Shaving Enabling Enablement or whatever it is on Facebook. The scent on this is absolutely beautiful. It's like a creamy, sort of spicy, powdery... I can't really, it, it, it's not a barber shop, traditional barber shop by any stretch of the imagination. You know, if you look, smell Seville or you smell a lot of the Phoenix Art, like CAD, things like that, fine accoutrements. Can't remember the name of it, but American blend. This one doesn't smell like any of them, but I absolutely love it. There's just something amazing about it. Now the brush for today, I'm moving away from, hang on a minute, I'm moving away from using the that Dan Rob brush, for today at least. I'm really enjoying using it, I'm just finding it hard to try and get consistency from it. So, I wanna just go back to this one and just see how it compares. And that is the Simpson Chubby Two in Best Badger, which is an absolutely beautiful little brush, it really is. 27 millimeters, very, very dense knot, amazing face feel. And um, we'll just go straight in here. I've got far too much water in this knot, I should have shaken. No, I don't actually, I've had more than that. And this is really just to give me an idea and a gauge as to how good that damn rob knot, knot is. The bulb knot, or the fan knot, just it's not bulb knot. But not the fan turing, the knot that's in the, the new that damn rob brush that I acquired. I am struggling with it. I get sort of 50 50 hits with it. Whether it's a great soap, but whether it's a great soap or not, I do struggle sometimes with it. It just seems to eat the ladder, and other times it doesn't. So let's move on to a phenomenal soap and a phenomenal knot and see how we go. Right, there is the brush loaded. As you can see there, shock a block. I'm going to wet my face, I've just had a shower. We're heading out to a Harry Potter quiz night tonight with my dad and the kids. My dad's not a big Harry Potter fan. Me and the wife are. And the kids, probably not so much. They watch it, they enjoy it, but it's not something that, <coughs> if I say to them, Let's watch Harry Potter, they're not going to get excited about it. <coughs> Probably more so because I've watched it about 3 million times at home. Right, so here we go with the Simpsons Chubby 2 in Best Badger. Now, I've used a lot of brushes in my time, a lot. Synthetic natural hair knots, premium natural hair, top quality synthetics, $400 brushes. You name it, I've tried a lot. I haven't tried all the best yet. I've used Declaration Grooming, albeit it was an enormous knot. It was a 33mm or a 35mm knot. It was Spencer Frankel's brush. I was very lucky to get a try on it. But it's now with Kai Triska over at Kai Shaves. Face feel on this knot, it's just incredible. It's so dense. It's got an amazing scrub, but there's no scratch or scratch with it. There's nothing uncomfortable about it whatsoever. It just does exactly what you want from a brush. I'm gonna dip the tips again. No Belotta soap can take a hell of a drink, but is workable in a, in a very wide range. So you can use it when it's reasonably dry, 
and you can use it when it's very very wet and hydrated and it gives you the same sort of results. I'm pretty much where I want to be with it already which is very very quick look at that look at my finger shaking for a start but look at the gloss on that doing lather everywhere I've got five more days I think it is Thursday today my cast comes off on Tuesday the 29th hopefully fingers crossed now I am still getting a bit of pain where the, where the break is so I'm sort of hoping that it has healed and it's just the sort of aftermath that I'm getting look at that look at that really is an exceptional soap to the side. Now I'm using the Carve Christopher Bradley razor. I'm going to use that not exclusively because I'm waiting on another razor coming into the den but I'm going to be using this aluminium one for quite a while, daily shaves and just see how it holds up and tip, not the razor but how my skin holds up with the B plate. I'm using a brand new Derby Usta blade which is Derby Master in Turkish. Now this blade comes out of the packet around the wrapper. It's not double wrap. I think it has wax on it, does it? Yeah, it's got wax on it, but the way it's done, as you can see, let's see if I can get that light to shine the right way. Where are we? You can see four little dots on that. Now the four little dots, that's your, that's your wax that holds it in there. It doesn't affect the blade at all. I've just had the razor soaking in the hot water as well. This is the Carl Christopher Bradley razor in aluminium. I'm just going to split it into three. Pop my razor blade on there, like so, let it fall down. Get my base plate, let that fall down, and then get the handle and screw it on. I uh, never have to worry, never even look at blade gap or blade alignment on this razor because it's always perfect. And here we go with the B plate. Now Derby Extra, which is Derby's sort of budget model, also worked very well on the calf, Christopher Bradley razor. These ones, the Booster, I find to be just a little bit sharper, have slightly more longevity. I do get more shaves out of them. Not that I go that far, they're so cheap anyway, the Booster ones. I still only do about three shaves on them. Now, one thing I want to mention straight off this razor. It's light. It's it's a razor that allows you to, or it, sorry, it doesn't allow you to. It makes you use the right amount of pressure. You have to use pressure with it. There's a lot of people out there who don't like light razors. They like the weight of the razor to do the work, and that's absolutely fine. That works for you, then that's brilliant, because it's all about finding what works for you. Now I could go out there and tell you to buy Carve Christopher Bradley razors and stainless and spend two, three hundred dollars. This is the cheapest model, other than the peak plastic. It's $89, I think, for a fully made one like that with one plate, just like that. $89 Canadian. Now, if you're looking for it in stainless or brass, which the, the build quality is identical, albeit this one is anodized very well. The build quality is the exact same. You're not going to get anything different. They're going to be built the same. They're going to look exactly the same. They'll just be different materials. If you like brass more than stainless, if you like stainless more than brass, if you prefer aluminium. Now the aluminium won't be available 
until the end of November. Well, that's what they're planning. Oh, this is so slick, this soap. Coming from Wickham yesterday to this soap, you really appreciate slickness. Wickham, albeit it's a, it's a quality soap, but this, this is in a different level. Wickham, I would put in sort of championship football level, whereas this is playing with the big boys in the Premier League. But it's even this stuff's Champions League material. Now, if you want to put Wickham as Manchester United at the moment, and Noble Otter as Liverpool, sadly, that's, that is how it is at the moment. Yeah, and Liverpool are playing slick football. I fucking hate watching them, but the, the oh, what more can you say? They play great football. Manchester United managed to style for them at the weekend, but I think if, if they had Salah, I think it would have been a different game. But it really highlighted to me how much Salah has missed when he's not that Liverpool team. And it, you know, my well, it's not my worry, it's my hope. But I'm sure it's every Liverpool supporter's worry that Barcelona or the such come in and grab Salah next. Barcelona, PSG, Real Madrid. Especially if Liverpool don't win the league from the position they're in there. If I mentioned this is the best knot in my den, this brush is phenomenal. I cannot believe it took me so long, over three years, to put a Simpsons brush onto my skin. It creates some of the best ladders I can make with absolute ease. As you can see the flow through on it, it's incredible. It's just an incredible brush. And if you haven't tried one and you can afford it, there might be someone that buy sell trades. I don't see the best badger pop up that often. I actually see the Manchurian and the uh, Super Badger. I think they do another grade as well. I can't remember what it is, but they seem to pop up more often than the best. But the best for me is the best. I haven't even used the others. So that's how good it is. One thing I've noticed with this aluminium car, I haven't had any irritation really. I haven't had any ingrown here so far, touch wood. One thing I do notice with the car phrases, all of them, brass, aluminium and stainless, is that they make what would be deemed as the lesser sharp blades, the poorer blades, the cheaper blades, you know, your, your Astras, your, your Darbys, all these sort of, the milder blades makes them work beautifully. This, this razor for me shaves superior to the brass and stainless. And I know some of you are showing that going, but it's the same razor. It is, it's identical. It's the exact same shape, length handle as my stainless. Now, I haven't compared this with the stainless yet or the brass. I will be doing a comparison shave. I'm going to do a triple razor shave aluminium stainless brass however I'm going to do it and it's mainly going to be a test of the weights how smoothly it shaves whether I get different irritation in different sections of my face and also how smoothly the razor glides over the skin because this thing has got absolutely almost no resistance at all on the skin and I think that could be part of the the thing with stainless and the brass and I don't know what it is it could be the the bead blasting process that happens that gives that a little bit of drag but this certainly seems to be so far, and I haven't compared it so I can't 100% say, seems to be smoother and have less drag than the stainless and brass versions. Which really brought me to the point of, if they release a titanium version, you're going to get that premium metal with the lighter weight. And I think the weight of the titanium might be perfect whether that 
comes to fruition, I, I don't know. I know unfortunately there's been quite a few changes at Carve recently again in the background that will affect production quite a bit so unfortunately these things happen in business I'm sure they'll be trying to pump out as much as they can they're just running with less men but the quality will always be there and, and for me I've been very lucky I've been sent so many items you know to try out and test. I've been part of this sort of what is changing department I suppose, but you know, putting my thoughts forward, trying to echo what viewers have said. Reading up on the forums, trying to figure out what's what's been good and bad about it. From other people's points of view. This soap is phenomenal. Right, is that three passes? I can't bloody remember. Because I'm enjoying this brush so much, I'm going to lather my whole face again. Or am I? Yeah, stuff it. Well, you'll see the th flow through in a minute. So just in the bottom of the brush there, just round the base. Now this is obviously the fourth pass, fourth lather. You can scoop that on your chin. Well, that's what I do. If you've got a goatee, it's almost impossible. Or a beard, obviously. Right, this is mainly just a little bit of a touch-up. Now I may have a few little weepers here and there because I've overshaved really, but the slickness, <laughs> the slickness is insane. Now, Declaration Grooming have released a new soap called Milk Snake. new soap, it's a new soap base called Milk Steak. Now, if you watch Rudd's, Rudd's Shaves, or if you watch Virtual Groom Room, that is run by Jack, who does all the sort of PR and advertising photographs and everything for calf shaving. They both use Milk Steak formula, Milk Steak, milk steak base. Two seconds. Right, just had to take a quick phone call there. I've cleaned everything up, cleaned the brush up, cleaned the razor up a little bit. Now I'm just going to finish off now today with just a splash of cold water. Now the post shave feel, or the post shave in general, from 
Noble Otter soaps is incredible. I can't get the splashes over here at the moment. I think I can get them from over east or something, but money-wise, I can't get the splashes at the moment. I'm going to finish off with some Razor Rock Allen Block. Now, I've been watching, I think Andy Northern Shaver uses an Allen Block every shave without fail, and he loves it. So I'm going to start using it a bit more. A little bit of feedback around my lips there. Not much anywhere else so far. A little, little bit, but not much. Oh, it's hardly any feedback. I mean, you feel it. You can't use alum and then turn around and say to me, you don't feel anything anyway. You're going to feel something, unless you've just not put a blade in your razor and you're trying to cut someone on. You're going to feel feedback all over your face, but when you feel it, feel it, as in, it really burns. You've generally overshaved that area. Or you've got some really irritation there. Now, I've got feedback all over my face and chin and neck and everything. But nothing to say, oh, I've had a shocking shave, this is a cracking shave. Wow. Really, really impressed. This carve aluminium razor is really surpassing anything else I've ever used. Gets me so close as well, the shave is incredible. Just try that off. Now, I recommend you rinse alum off. I find alum to be a very drying product. I find it sucks the moisture out of your skin. So you have an amazing shave and then you put alum all over. If you leave it on, I just find it dries my skin out. So I wash it off every time and what happens is it, it sort of helps to heal the skin with that astringent properties that it has. But your post shave from your soap comes back through again. Once you rinse it off and you feel your skin, it feels lovely and soft still. This, the alum hasn't had time to really absorb all that moisture off your skin. So I've still got that post shave feel from the Noble Otter. But I am going to finish off, I've not got much left of this stuff, with Blue Beard Revenge Cooling Moisturiser. One of my favourite scents. And it, oh. it pairs extremely well with Noble Otter. Barber. Yeah. I've got to say that. Albeit that Bluebeard's Revenge is a, it's a mass produced product, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. But they're everywhere. They're called Dreadnought in the United States and Canada, I believe. Same company. Probably the exact same scent. But the products are excellent. The shaving cream is really, really top notch for what it is. It's not the most expensive of products. You can normally pick up a triple set of the balm, the gel, aftershave gel, and the, the shaving cream. And it probably costs you about 20 to $30 in Australia. So it's pretty good stuff for the money. But that's phenomenal stuff. Noble Otter, Bar Bar. Just a... Just a beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. I'm not a big fan of Barbershop. I do have a new Barbershop scent on its way into the den in a soap base that I've never tried before, which has been around for a long time. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard good things about the scent. i just see how it is for me. I'm not a big fan of Barbershop. I took a bit of a, went out on a limb to try it. The Chips, the Chipsons, the Chipsons Subby, the Simpsons Chubby, two best badger, Absolutely beautiful. Really, uh, this knot has blown me away every single use. Now, I lose a couple of hairs in this every time when I'm toweling it. It's not when I'm shaving with it generally, it's just when I towel it. Probably maybe being a little bit too rough. I think that's one there, look. Yep, there's another one just there. Oh, there you can see that. You can see it sort of flapping around. It's not going to focus on that tiny little hair. Yeah, so I, I lose a little few little hairs here and there, but it's so dense, it's so heavy. I used, to, I thought it was the handle that was heavy, but I think the knot really adds to it, and it holds so much water that it adds a lot of weight once it's wet as well. And really, this, you know, there's so many stars of the shave here, as the Suffolk shaver would have said. But the star of the shave today, and has been for the past few shaves, is the carved Christopher Bradley razor in aluminium with the B plate. It's incredible with the C plate, but this B plate for daily shaves is just top draw. I've had two different blades in it now for my shaves and both blades have performed pretty much perfectly and flawlessly. I've got a tiny little weeper there. But other than that, I'm really happy. I've got a bit of redness on my neck as I always have. 
And this is a daily shave, so I'm going to have a bit of redness, a little bit of spotting here and there. But in terms of actual overall shave, excuse me, closeness, quality, comfort, style, everything. I love this razor. Absolutely love it. And other than that, stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.